So we've got another cup game and a real test of my pronunciation skills. Let's see if I can Polish. Because that's going to happen. Dzień dobry, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chasing Lamely. I did some Polish, there was some Polishing. Today we're playing our first round of the FA Cup against a team that I'm reliably uh, informed are named Hojnicenka Hojnica. Um, that's, that's their official name, I, I googled that. Um, let me know if I butchered that pronunciation of anything, but whatever. Um, we're going we're gonna to go with that, because I quite like the sound of that. I didn't realise the C was silent. There you go, learning things. Right, since we were last together, um, we have played Gornik Zabritza. I've definitely pronounced that wrong. 1-1 um, draw, Mark Gray getting on the score sheet. Felipe Cruz picking up a small knock, but nothing too dramatic. Um, obviously played the next game. Two, two or draw with Keziah Sterling getting himself a brace, which we like. And then we played Piast. Um, and we won 4-2. Felipe Cruz getting himself sent off, but uh, two goals for Keziah Sterling again. A goal for Bright Ina Bacare and a goal for a Kieri Wright, which brings us today against Hojnicenko Hojnica. Um, the more I say it, the more I enjoy that. Um, we're playing in the hail today, which is going to be fun, 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 fun. Lots of players are injured. Uh, Mark Gray is doubtful. Paris Magoma is out. Matty Longstaff is out. Um, yeah. <sighs> there's some drama, but it's fine. We're going to go straight into a game because there's no, been no transfer movements or anything I need to report. And we are the favourites, as you'd expect. Hojnicenko Hojnica are in the division below us. Um, I haven't, actually haven't even looked to see how they're doing. Um... How are Hojnachenko and Hojnica doing? They are uh, currently ninth in the first division, which is good. Do they have any of our ex-players that we should be worried about? I don't think... I feel like this name has not come up. Oh, no, it has. We sold them Lukot and uh, Izidorshik, which I think is close. Uh, right. So, yeah, they, they're they decent in their league, but they're not top class. That's what we need to know. Good performance from that diamond, by the way. Oh, what a, what a, what a pairing. Or triplet or whatever. Anyway, team today. Kiel Sherpin in goal. Felipe Cruz at right back. Igor Gomes and Ivan Puerto are the centre halves. And uh, Piasek is playing as the left back. Vincent Gonzalez, Jankovic, uh, Inabakare, Wright and Sterling are the rest of the team. With Divine, Daniluc, Lis, um, the Polish Messi. Uh, Dershal, Belodi, McEachern, Davis, Williams and Bargel making up the bench. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, Puerto and Gonzalez are lacking match fitness, which is understandable because Matty Longstaff's been playing a lot, and obviously uh, Mark Guay has been playing a lot at centre half. So there's not really been any look-ins for anyone. Um, I've completely forgotten the names of the guys that we were looking out for to see if they they were playing. I don't see anyone, um, and nothing as far as I know came up in a media report. Fry sounds very English. Oh, it's Frick. I was going to say. Fry would be very English. Frick, not so much. Or Fritch, I guess. Uh, Patrick Fritch. Um, right, let's get into the dressing room. Pick up where you left off. Seems like good motivation. Let's see what it says in the tunnel. Do you think we'll have, have trouble finding motivation at a side like Hoynichanka? Uh, I'm going to say they're capable of beating us. Just, just to challenge the players. Stop the best weather for football out there. I mean... Yeah. We'll say that the absence of Matty Longstaff should be felt. How hard will it be without his services? I would rather have had him, um, is the answer, I think. But we'll go with the um, the 11 players starting the match. Uh, are you hopeful Kaziah Sterling carries his recent good form into this match? Always. Um, always hopeful, because he never seems to perform properly on camera. Um, off camera, goals galore. On camera, nothing. Uh, Felipe Cruz with a free kick on the second minute. Into the back post, headed over the bar by a carry right, but promising, promising signs early on. We'll take that. Um, a few of their players aren't fully fit, which is encouraging because that means we might have a shot. Um, we had a shot on goal, but we've not seen the highlight. We're on the counter now. Come on, some... we're getting a lot of the ball, which you'd expect because we're the bigger side. But not seeing many highlights. But Felipe Cruz is going to take a throw in now, as slowly as humanly possible, apparently. Uh, we're time-wasting already against a team from a lower division. Interesting. Akira Wright with the head-on. Finds Keziah Sterling. Ida Bakare set up and he scored. 
Oh, what a goal. What a goal. I say what a goal. It wasn't, a, it wasn't like it was a sterling finish, but it's nice to score early. They're doing a little Peter Crouch thing in the corner. Everything's looking good. I'm always a bit worried when Kaziah Sterling gets the ball because he does have the turning circle of an oil tanker, as we've seen before. But he got there first time pass to Inabakare, who he knew where he was because they've got such good chemistry, this front three, three now, which is good to see. Um, I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a demand more. Let's demand more goals. Jankovic, ball forward, headed away. Kiri Wright's chasing it down, despite the fact that we're midfielders closer. Gonzalez probably should have been the guy chasing that down, but he's picked up the ball now. Flicked out wide to Kaziah Sterling, who frankly should find Piacek. He does. Piacek with the cross to Kiri Wright. On the volley, what a finish. What a finish. Two goals to the good inside 20 minutes, and we could be on an absolute demolition today. Um... I didn't go with the thing I did last last time round. Last time round? No, it was the first round where, where I I played the team, the players that just belong to us. Um, this time we've just gone with the best eleven we can put out because it's the cup and we need to get to the semi final. That's our minimum expectation. So I feel like we should give ourselves the best chance to do that. Demanding more. Let's see what that achieves. It hasn't stressed anyone yet, which is encouraging. It probably will in a second once it stops thinking about what it's doing. Um, we've got ourselves a corner. Felipe Cruz whips it in. Back post. Oh, just over. Just over from Kaziah Sterling. We're looking we're looking pretty dangerous in these opening stages. Pretty dangerous. We're not, we are at a stage where we can shout. Let's shout some praise at them. That always works. They like being praised. Not as not liking it as much as normal. Uh, Fellner with the throw in to Trokim. Uh, they're playing quite well now. Hebel. Uh, I did notice they were sort of starting to creep back into the game. But let's, let's hope we can keep them at bay. Papikian, ball over the top there, but Piasek is there to intercept it. And now he's going on a tear down the middle, because why not? Jankovic to Inabakare. Inabakare is going to probably find Piasek out wide. He does. Piasek back to Inabakare, back to Piasek. Piasek releases Jankovic, who so has a pop from wide, and that's just crept in. That looked like it was going to be a spectacular finish. Don't get me wrong, it was still a good finish. Like, he's got it in. But that must have taken a deflection or something, because that looked like he was going to absolutely whip it into the back of the net, and it just trickled over the line. I wasn't wasn't imagining that, was I? Piercheck there, ball back, little one two, plays it into Jankovic. Oh, it was it wasn't a bad finish? Just looked like it trickled in, trickled over the line. But actually, he's done all right. He's beaten the keeper on the on the bounce. Good work. Three 0 up. First half. More praise is definitely warranted there. Everyone's feeling fired up, confident, and calm. And that's what we need to see. They haven't even had a shot on target yet. Or a shot on goal. We're absolutely dominating this game. Could it be four now? Felipe Cruz with a corner. It's going to fall to Finson, who's not really not really the guy for a pot shot. Jankovic, though, we know is. Igor Gomez will have a go. And Felipe Cruz might have a go. He does. What a finish. What a finish. 4-0. I know we're only playing aside from the division below, but finishing, the finishing, just, just unbelievable quality today. This is the best we've played in a long time. Absolutely the best we've played in a long time. What an absolute smash of a finish. Absolute smashing finish there. And I think they can have more praise. Why not? Why not give them more praise? They're still fired up by the praise. Everyone's loving this. I'm starting to wish I had more young players on the bench so I could give some people some experience. Um, I, just, I, don't, I don't know what to do with 4-0 up. I don't know what to do right now. I'm sort of, I'm sort of a bit broken by this. We haven't let them have a shot yet. They've barely had any possession. We are utterly, utterly dominant. And Akira writes in, has another pop. Tobias saves it quite nicely. Kaziah Sterling's hanging around there, hoping he drops the ball, I think. Um, Papishik though is going to try and play out from the back to Fritsch down the right hand side now to Beneshevsky to Fritsch again looking good but we are pressing we're pressing quite nicely um, Letniovsky now has the ball uh, good playing around here but Keziah Sterling's decided to intercept it picked up the pass if he can get a cross in here we could be on for goal number 5 he does a Kieri Wright what a finish 5-0 13th goal of the season for a Kieri Wright Oh, you know, I said Keziah Sterling can't turn it off of the cameras. He hasn't scored yet. But, my God, he's creating a lot of stuff. Done really well to pick up the ball there. 
looks up, sees Fright on the way in, puts the ball across to him, Fright on the volley again. Oh, he's a finisher. He's a finisher, that boy. When he's on form, he's an absolute genius in front of goal. More praise. More praise for the boys. Why not? They're never going to get tired of being praised. Um, we're going to have to take off the fullbacks very shortly because they're starting to tire out, as will happen when they are our only width. Um, but more praise first. More praise for the boys. They've had a couple of shots, so we're obviously... I think that's down to the fullbacks getting tired. They must be getting at us down the wings and getting some crosses in. Let's, let's make those changes now. Why not? Um, I'm very aware, though, that to make changes further back, I do have to take off someone further forward which becomes an issue. Do you know what? Let's let's put the Polish Messi on. Because why wouldn't we give him this extra experience? Then we can send Reese Devine on at left back. We can send Nico Williams on at right back. Let's see what we can get out of this. See if Nico Williams can make an impact as well. I'd love it if, if Liss, the Polish Messi, could find himself a goal here. I think that would be the icing on the cake for me if he found himself a goal. Just waiting to give a bit more praise, just to fire up some more. They've got a throw in though, which is interesting. Um, I've definitely weakened the back four by sticking um, by sticking Nico Williams on. I'm starting to feel like he's he's a bit of a weak link at right back. Uh, Fritsch though is going to try and make a run at us. That's a penalty. Don't, don't, stupid penalties. Utterly pointless. Let's see if we can save this. Utterly pointless tackle in the box. We didn't need to do that. We're 5-0 up. Papakian's taking it. I knew which way Sherpin was going before he even kicked the ball. Unbelievably bad goalkeeping from... You know, he's, he's, not, he's not the keeper for saving penalties. And now it's 5-1. And I'm going to do a concentrate shout because we need to be better than that. They're overwhelmed by being asked to concentrate against a team from a division below them. But I think actually that's valid. I think me telling him to concentrate is valid because we shouldn't be making bad tackles like that. And now we've got to throw in here. Nico Williams is going to take it to Finson. It's really deep. We're really, really deep now. Gonzalez picks up the ball to Liss. Liss, the Polish Messi. What's he got there? Ball across to Jankovic. Puerto. Starting to build really nicely again. Jankovic again. Is he going to find Divine? He is going to find Divine. Will he find anything? He's going to go on a bit of a tear here. What's he got in support? He's got Liss in support. Of course he does. Polish Messi. Divine with a cross. Awful cross, frankly. Frankly an awful cross. There was no one there to get the end of it. But Williams has picked it up. Can we rebuild? Ball forward down the line would have been good there. But no, plays it to Gomez. It's a safe ball. He goes on the run though. Williams, he's going to pick it up. Can he get the cross in? Let's see what he's got here. Anything will do. Any dream. Cross to Akiri Wright. Akiri Wright has been fouled. Yes, he has. He's going, to get, he's going to take the penalty himself. He'll get the hat trick. That's a good return. 6-1 will be the score in just a second. As long as the little telly doesn't say that wasn't a push. But it was definitely a push. I saw the push. You saw the push. We all saw the push. That should be a red card. Christoph Korsik, come on. Early bath. Early bath for Christoph Korsik. Uh, he says it's a penalty. I still think that should be a straight red, but, you know, whatever. A carry of right to complete his hat-trick buries it in the bottom corner. That's what he does. That's just what he does. That's his bread and butter. That's his bread and butter. 14th goal of the season. Just, just... When he's on form, it doesn't get better than a carry of right. The one concern I have, though, is that the more goals he scores, the harder it's going to be to keep hold of him. Um, it's not like I haven't got the depth. I mean, Dershel's still our record signing, and he's barely hitting in the side right now and he's more than good enough to fit in this team more than good enough but you know we'll take this we'll take 6-1 6-1 is pretty good it's not a bad way to start an episode not a bad way to start an episode sorry Hoinachanko Hoinitsa I'm sad that I'll never say your name again unless you get promoted but you know that's 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 how it goes I'm afraid We'll come back in a second, I think, for the quarter-final draw. Um, and then we're going to go and play Bisla Krakow, because that feels like the right thing to do. So, stay tuned. So, we're back with the quarter-final of the Polish Cup, which is always good times. Let's see who we get here. Um, either of these guys, I guess, would be good. Pogon Sidilce or Bitovie Bitov. 
um, they would do but let's auto draw it and hope we don't get the most complicated name to pronounce so Sirlicha Elantorun oh there's going to be one small team in there Piast and Lesha okay it's bullets avoided Krakowia oh, of course it was Krakowia of course it was kind of embarrassing that Lesha second have got further than their first either way um We'll have to make the best of that as a draw. We are the away team because we finished above Krakowia in the last uh, last season. It's essentially third place, fourth. Talking of which, let's get to the uh, the next game. Right, we're back with the second game of the episode. We're playing Vista Krakow away. Um, I haven't actually done the team selection for this game yet, so this could be interesting because I don't know who's available and who's not. Um, I was always busy doing a transfer thing. Uh, which hopefully you'll... Let's see what the selection advice says. Is there anyone I'm missing? What's the difference by Piercek as a centre-half? That's just stupid. Uh, Gwei is not fit. That was the main one I was looking for. Everything else is working. Yeah, sorry, I was working on a transfer. And if it comes off, it's going to be the mother of all transfers. So you'll want to tune in for the next episode for that. Um, possibly two. Possibly two very, very big transfers coming in. Anyway, team's unchanged from last time. Because, you know, it went quite well. So, <laughs> so we'll just press on with that and see if that see if that translates to the uh, to the league. We're currently sitting in third. I forgot to say that at the start of the episode. Um, I believe we're sitting in third. We're going to be sitting in fourth now. I've now I've said that because someone will have won below us. Um, any big names that I, I haven't done the traditional look at is anyone at Vista Krakow, an ex player of ours, but no names are jumping. I can't even read that one. So that's a Bukalik. Mikhail Bukalik, we've definitely come across him before. He plays he plays somewhere in England or Scotland, doesn't he? Or has done? No. We've definitely come across him before somewhere. Maybe I've signed him on another save and just... Brain has blocked out, you never know. Uh, no one jumping out as someone I should be worried about. So, we'll see what's going on. I was, no, I said that. It's going to be someone big in that team that you've spotted and I haven't. Let's just have a quick look at the table. We're currently sitting fourth. A win today, though, would take us above Krakow, who were, of course, below us when we... Did we did the draws for hiccups. Um, oh, they'll go away. Um, yeah, so a win today would take us up into second, which is quite beautiful. It means last year dropped points, which we like to see. We did the team talk. Let's kick off. Let's get into the game. Let's just go straight for it. Because we need to get more points on the board. And hopefully the boys will carry that form from last game through to this one. And we'll all be good. Um, the players aren't fully fit, but, you know... We'll make the best of it because we're still in the cup, so they've been doing their best to work hard. Bukalik now has got the goal kick. Hopefully, we pick it picked up by one of our lads. It won't because we've got no wingers. Um, Piasek is doing his best to do a defending, and that was his best at doing a defending. Uh, Volsky to Savacevic. Piasek's now left himself out of position. He needs to drop back fast. Let Jankovic cover. Can Jankovic cover this? He can't quite do anything, but he's forced him to play back, and now Sterling has picked up the ball. He skinned his man. Good times. Has he got anyone in support? He's got a carry of right waiting. He's gone alone. He scored a goal. But that's 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 world class stuff. World class stuff. That's he's he's hit a different level. And do you know what? If, if the signing, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But if the signing I've I've got lined up actually does come off, and it looks like it will, if it does come off, phew, Sterling's going to get even more goals. So is a carry of right. It's, Let's just say I found a man who's probably worth 10, 15 goals a season to us if he comes off. And he's far too good for this league. And it's a name you guys all know. Just saying. So, anyway, we're 1-0 up. Um, let's get creative. Let's see if we can get a second goal. We might get it right here. Cruz whips the ball across. And uh, Jankovic is going to pick it up now. So, hopefully we'll get something out of this. Puerto, back to Jankovic. Jankovic, back to Puerto. Puerto, ball all the way back to Piasek. We're, we're, we like building from deep. Felipe Cruz picked up Gonzalez, back to Felipe Cruz. Felipe Cruz back to Gonzalez. Gonzalez back to Finson. It's a beautiful pass. Well, beautiful, beautiful, you know, you know what I mean. Sustained passing, that's what I'm looking for. Finson, Finson to Piasek. We just keep the ball so well. It's so nice to watch. Jankovic back to Finson, finds Piasek out wide, who's just found himself in acres of space. Doesn't get the cross off, but Jankovic is there to give him another chance. Gets the second bite of the cherry. Freud can't get his head to it. Felipe Cruz rattles the bar. Or was that a save? I'm not even sure what happened there. 
It looked like you rattled the bar. Um, either way, it's gone out and we've got a corner. And let's see what we can do from this. Felipe Cruz with a, another corner. Headed clear. They're going to try and hit us on the counter here. Volsky has removed the danger, but only as far as a throw-in. Which, you know, we can take advantage of throw-ins. We're not, we're not afraid of that. We don't fear taking advantage of the old throw-in here and there. They're inspired by the feedback. Things are looking good. A second goal, and you feel like it had killed the game off. Uh, Vista Krakow, by the way, are currently 19th, uh, 13th in the league. So they're just above the relegation zone. Uh, and we're playing uh, Pogon next, I believe, who are also just above the relegation zone. Avaladze's picked up the ball, though. We've managed to defend that a little bit. Not brilliantly, but head it clear here, and we could be on to something. Ina Bacare's picked up. Long ball forward. Kierov Wright should chase that down. It should fall nicely for him. And if he can get a cross in here to Kaziah Sterling, we could be two goals to the good. He's got the cross in. It's not quite reached his man. But Gonzalez will pick it up. Heads it down to Piercek. We're still in possession. Keeping possession very, very nicely. Back heel to Finson. Finson with a dirty little pass. Jankovic to Puerto. So many passes being strung together here. Igor Gomez to Finson. Finson to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, what's he going to do with it? Ball back to Finson. Finson might might find someone good. Finds Jankovic. Ball over the top to Akira. Heads it into Sterling. Kaziah Sterling with his second goal of the game. His 10th of the season. Unbelievable. Unbelievable tackers. It's just watching us play right now is absolute magic. I wish I could show you every single game, but it's just magic like this. It's constant magic. Just the ball being kept hold of, played around beautifully. Sterling and Wright together. Remember at the start of the season where it said, it could, it said they couldn't play together? I disagree. I disagree heavily. Piasek now has got the ball to Jankovic. Back to Piasek. I'm going to do, do a quick praise shout because they're going to need the praise after this third one goes in. Oh! Might still go in. You never know. Felipe Cruz with a header. Wasn't really any point in heading it. He could have brought that down. Either way, 2 0 up. 2 0 up going into half time is what we like to see. They're fired up by being praised. Although, we've got to be careful here with the defending. Sadlock puts the ball forward. Dargo was being completely unwatched. Back to Savicevic, who has acres of space, but can't get it past the first man. Apparently it was a good tackle, but it just bounced off him, so we'll see. Saddle to Volsky. Someone do some defending here, because I don't want, to, don't want to concede on the brink of half-time. That is never okay. It's never okay. That's how comebacks start, boys. Schrantz must have been offside there. Must have been offside. Someone get rid of this. Felipe Cruz gets set to Arvaladze. Could be dangerous. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. I thought Schrantz was offside, but apparently not. Good cross in. He, Cruz does well with it, but Arvaladze should never have been receiving that ball, and someone should have closed him down as soon as he did. And they're going to be on the comeback trail, and we could be in real trouble here. I think um, I think there's going to be a warning against complacency. I think it's just encourage the team. Um, but let's do a keep focused. Let the assistant manager handle the, the individuals, but everyone seems to be doing okay so far. So we'll not panic too much. We are picking up some silly yellow cards, though, which I don't like, because that's how reds happen. Busker to Finson. Well, tackled by Finson. Puerto. Good ball up, but I say a good ball up. It didn't really go anywhere. And Savacevic has picked it up. And we, he could have played this into trouble then. Niepsu. Um, back to Janicki. And across to the left-hand side. Sad look. Someone needs to get closing down here. Felipe Cruz gets his foot in, but doesn't really disrupt play. And that's a header. You know, I said don't get complacent at half time. It's. I feel like I didn't say it in Polish. It's just a feeling. It's just a feeling, but I don't think I said it in Polish. Um, Avaladze's picked out the goal scorer. Back to Sadlock on the left hand side. We really need to do more with this. Avaladze again gets the ball inside to Savacevic. It's a nice switch. There was no one there waiting. No one is paying attention to that, that side. Piaszek isn't even paying attention when the guy's right in front of him. And that's a foul. That's... Oh, it's going to be a penalty, isn't it? It's going to be a penalty. We don't need that to be a penalty. We need that to... We need that to be a free kick. Oh, come on. It was just outside the box. Come on, tell me it was just outside the box. 
Yes. Okay. They'll still score from it. You watch. Piaszek's going to get us sent off, though. Oh, no, 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 no. We can do, we've done it with 10 men before. We just shouldn't have to. It takes away... So oh, he's just been warned. He is lucky there. Because... Once we lose our fullbacks, we lose a lot of our attacking threat. We're not quite so good playing through the middle. And Sherpin's done very well to save that and keep us in the game. Oh. A few subs are going to need to be made very shortly because some players tiring. But Piaszek's got a free kick from deep over to a carry of right. Finds Gonzalez. I thought Gonzalez was going to pop there. But Felipe Cruz is stepping up. He's on his third goal of the season. I barely went in. On his left as well, which he's not a left-footed player even in the slightest. We're looking unbeatable at present. That's facts. That's true facts. I don't know why it's not letting me do a shout. It's fine. Carry of right. Gonzalez, I thought, was going to have a pop. Felipe Cruz tackled, but, you know, arguably could have gone down and got a penalty there. But he decided to go it alone on his left foot. Things looking good. It's more praise for the team. Um, and I'm going to give it a few more minutes and I'm going to start bringing in some subs because that's going to be the way forward. Let's do it right now. Um, Felipe Cruz, the goal scorer, he does need to get a rest. I kind of want to have a look at Daniluch. Mm. Let's do it. We're 3-1 up. Um, Gonzalez needs to come off as well. I I can see a good reason for bringing in George McEachern. I'm also going to drop in Bakare back into the midfield. Um, he's more comfortable on the right-hand side, but that's not an issue for us. Uh, and we're going to bring on Valdemar List, the Polish Messi. Once again, more experience for him, because the more experience we can give him, the better a player he'll become, and maybe someone will go after that £60 million price tag I've put on his head. Daniluch, cross in, doesn't really go anywhere. Kieriv right might pick it, oh, just wide, just wide. But that's okay, that's all fine, let's do more praise. As soon as we can do more praise because we've got to keep this team confident, we've got to keep this team happy, motivated, ready ready to score more goals. We're, we're looking good, we're sat in second, we're only eight points behind, and like I say, if I get this new signing through the door, that eight points is going to disappear like that, because we may not, we not be a massive league, the Polish league, but this is I think this is the equivalent of us signing like a Kevin De Bruyne for this level. Just, just to give you a little taste, it's like if I'd signed Kevin De Bruyne in the Premier League. Like, he's far too good for this league. Far too good. But that's fine, because I Sterling with a brace. Felipe Cruz gets that goal. We've stayed second. We appreciate their efforts. Of course we do. And things looking good. And I don't want to click on the inbox in case it shows you who the new signing is. So I'm going to leave that hanging in the wind. I'm going to leave that dangling for the next episode where we are going to come back at the end of the transfer window. I said the end of the transfer window, the end of the winter break for the first games in January. It's the two new provided sides where hopefully we'll get a better result than we did last time because that would be really good for us. But um, yeah, in the meantime, guys, hit the like and subscribe button because you are going to want to know who this new signing is. Well, trust me, you're going to want to know. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you find out who that new signing is first. Um, socials, socials live below. Check me out on the socials. Come and have a chat. Um, yeah, that's that's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, thank you much for watching, guys. Or uh, as we'd say in Polish, um, and uh, I'll see you again very soon. Have a good. One.